Former Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates defender Benson Songo says he nearly joined the economic freedom fighters. Welcome to Football Navigator as we know more on Benson's desires and thoughts of joining an economic freedom fighting party. Please subscribe to the channel before we presume and give us a thumbs up as well as share the content across other football channels. The outspoken Flongo says it can't be business as usual in football and there are certain issues that need political intervention. The 39-year-old former Pirates assistant coach says he nearly joined the EFF with the hope of getting his message heard in the parliament and communicating labor-related issues affecting the players. I nearly joined the EFF, he told the Power FM. Just to be on a political side to see if I can't one day be an advisor to sports minister Nyatim Tetwa, he said. The outspoken former player said football clubs should be allowed to introduce investment policies and financialist advice as part of their service to their players. Mkongo was part of the Fanabafana squad at the 2008 African Cup of Nations. Says the only way to ensure that players have a life after retirement is through government intervention. He quoted to say, I believe that it can be changed by our government in terms of our labor laws. SA football is littered with examples of players who struggle after retirement. Government needed to be told that this is not about football only, it is affecting our kids and our own people, he said. The 30% salary cut by some football clubs during the COVID-19 pandemic was a practical example that things can be done differently. So COVID-19 has taught us that we can change things if we really want to, he continued to add. The former Bucks skipper Count cautioned local players against trying to copy the flashy lifestyles of European players. We can't keep up following trends from overseas. Those guys are ahead of us. So said Benson, their game has been developed in most areas from decades decades ago, so we are still behind in comparison to those player agents and managers who are running the clubs. The Alexander Bourne Flongo says the government should make UIF and must in football and save players from poverty, or make it a must and say during your playing days you can earn only 60% of your salary and 40% must be invested, he said. Look, there's UIF and footballers don't have that, so something can be done. They can either have a policy for athletes and your 40% can be put there or rather invested. And then after you retire, there's a the money that you're going to get every month as a retirement fund. We don't have that in South Africa. Only our government can do that, implement investment policies. I believe it should be discussed and be a topic that everybody engages on, he said. I don't think it would be selfish. I don't think it is not reasonable if you give me 50,000 rand and you take away 30,000 rand and you invest 20,000 rand. Who's going to benefit at the end of the day? Am I the one who's going to benefit? Yes, definitely. I believe if that can be done, it will teach us and other generation how to invest. Mkhlonga said buying a house is not an investment. We talk about investment, but we don't really understand what investment is. To buy a house is not an investment because we only play for 10 years. And after those 10 years, you can't afford the house anymore. And they take it because you can no longer pay it. We don't talk about signing on fees because you are afraid that you must pay your manager. The other one must go to your family. So there's a lot that happens to your money. And I believe we can make rule and ensure a certain portion is invested for the safe financial days of soccer players.